Hi guys, Bob and Pia Bruni. Just got home from work. Gonna do a beer review. This is Founders IPL Dissender Imperial IPL 2014. 8.7 alcohol by volume. Interesting cover. There you go. This has been out for a little bit. Three, four months, maybe more than that. Just hit my shelves. No dating on the bottle, so I don't know how old it is. This bottle is. I already got a waft of uh, hops off the nose. Nice, nice, clear, golden straw color. A little bit darker away from the light. Nice gold color. Soft carbonation. Nice white head. Very clingy. Clingy, sticky. Nice. Really nice. I think it looks pretty. Listen to some decapitator. Check it out. Good thrash. Alright, let's get into it. Cheers. Oh, that's got a lot of nice fruit, fruit aromas in there. You're getting your pine. Soft pine notes in the back. Earthy pine. Nice uh, tropical fruit notes in there because I'm getting a little bit of that kind of juicy star fruit in there, but mixing with a nice bit of, of grapefruit. Yeah, kind of almost like a, a lime, lemon, uh, a stone fruit, or not a stone fruit, but a star fruit, but then a nice grapefruit as well. That'll change over time, I'm assuming. I'm almost getting a little bit of a melon in there, soft. Almost a soft, kind of like honeydew. Now I'm picking up, now, now that I'm getting into it more, you're getting more of that peppery note. Peppery spice in there too. Well, it smells great. Well, let's get into it. Cheers. Soft, smooth body. Finishes nice. Um, the, the malts are just very soft, crisp, clean malt. They just travel through the mouth like nothing, just floating on air. No, yeah. they're not. Uh, it's not hard to drink. It just glides down your throat. But at the same time, it's not a watery body. It's a medium body, but it's just so light. It just mm, there's nice viscosity to it that just glides it right down your throat. It's definitely not thin. It's it's holding up this tower of hops. Picking up just a slight little bready note, like a soft grain bready note. That's about it from the malt. Under that, or next to that, then I'm picking up this this kind of soft floral herbal pepperiness. And the more I talk, the more it's starting to bite the front of my mouth, things like that. Just soft peppery notes. Yeah, there's a there's a strange kind of floral earthiness right in the bottom of it. Um, but then the, the, these peppery notes pick up. Lots of nice fruit, too. I was wondering how this was going to hold up. Because I don't know how fresh this bottle is. But there's still a lot, nice, a nice, nice amount of grapefruit. Yep. Grapefruit, star fruit. That earthy pine's really nice, too. It's kind of got a little bit of everything going on in this one. It's not pine forward. Well, at this time, at this junction, uh, I don't know how old it is, but now everything seems to be blending together. If this is not a fresh bottle, it's not pine forward. It's not grapefruit forward. It's not pepper forward. It's not. It's not. Everything's just completely meshing together in this one. Yeah. 
It's definitely good. It's nice IPL. I was looking for an easy drinking lager with a lot of hop flavor, and that's exactly what this is giving to me. Nice lacing, too. That is clean. That is clean. The 8.5% um, alcohol, I think it was 8.5. 8.7. It's coming off in this kind of slightly bitey floral note. It's, it's part of the hops too, mixing in there. But you can you can tell as you drink it, it's got some ABV in there. But it's not giving you any warming. It's not giving you any. It, it's not hindering the drink at all. And I'm not having an allergic reaction. Ah, even better. So. I'm really tired. This is a tired review, unfortunately. But, this is a good beer. This is a fine beer. Distillers IP, uh, Imperial uh, IPL. Probably not my the favorite IPL, because I've had uh, uh, Mass Risings and stuff like that from uh, Jack Tappy, and that was really, really good. Um, it's still in that 8.59 range, though. It's still very nice. Very nice indeed. I'm going to just go on the 8.5, the safer side. It's still a fine beer. If you Even now, even if it's not super fresh, it's still drinking really well. So uh, pick it up and give it a go and let me know what you think. This has been Bob from PA Brew News. Cheers.